Hi, my name is Reese Bailey. I'm the Library Academic Director here at Hopkins Hill Community College, and I'm about to demonstrate and explain how to use the Gale database uh, to locate and retrieve scholarly academic sources for your research assignments. From the college website, we want to click on uh, current student, the current student link takes you to the current student resource page. Scroll down, you see lots of links there. Click on the online database link, and it takes us to the online database page rather referred to as the Muse Proxy Application uh, page. And we're going to go to the G3 link to get to the Gale database. These databases are all included in the Gale system. Uh, the first database there, that's the general database, which contains all the sub databases that cuts across all disciplines and supports all of our academic programs. That's a collection that we selected for that purpose. Uh, so number one, the number one Gale general database also includes the chemistry and the opposing viewpoints, but those are two of the most popular for our students for writing research papers. But we're going to click on number one and go into the Gale system. Uh, this page uh, displays the title and description of all the sub databases within this system. And you can see that all of those databases have been checked automatically, and that is not something you want to have. We're, we're going to try and get Gale to correct that. We don't think that it should be selected because the, uh, when you're doing a research, when you're doing a search for scholarly sources, you want to narrow your search to only the most relevant databases so that you get only the most relevant resources. Uh, and here, these databases cover uh, agriculture, econ economics, communications, it cuts across all disciplines and a wide range of disciplines. I will say that the Gale uh, Academic One file is the largest database in the collection and it itself, in it within itself, cuts across all disciplines. So you're going to find something for any topic, any discipline you're researching for. But as far as selecting a part of the refining process, and you constantly want to refine, refine your search as much as possible to focus in on a central point that's going to be adequate for covering your assignment. So we'll, we need to get rid of all these check marks. So we're going to click on select all and then click it again and get rid of them. And what you would do, I'm going to select uh the academic one file because it cuts across all disciplines and i'm going to get some results there uh and I, i'm going to unselect that so you can just go down and look and read and, and start your your refining process and, then, and this search engine will help you do that so if you're talking about liberal arts and sciences no matter what program you're talking about we have it here chemistry wellness we have world history uh, 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 included in our collection if you're a history student, but we're going to put new uh, separate uh, videos on the databases that have the history because that is a big, big thing here at the college. But I'm going to go on and select the Gale database, and then I'm going to go on and, and put, you can put in your search term, uh, or you could just click the link to go directly to the Gale database and put your search term in the find field. But on this interface at the Gale Academic One File database, you see that you can explore uh, biology, chemistry, criminal justice. You can explore several different topics because this is a general database. It cuts across all those disciplines. You could search by topic, it, it'll be an alphabetical list, and you can just go one after the other on any of these areas. Uh, I'm going to arrow back uh, to the final page. 
show you some of the other tools. You, you can go through titles uh, by the list, search the history, etc. So we want to put in a search term here. And uh, I think that search term should be something real simple just, just to, for demonstration purposes. But as we go through this, you can put in your own search term and you'll get scholarly sources uh, specific to your assignment. So I'm going to put in computer. And you see there's a drop down menu because the, the search term computer is so broad, it's giving me some uh, other topics on computers that would narrow my search. Uh, because if, you, if your search term is too broad or too narrow, you're going to have you're going to either find too so many uh, uh, sources that you have to do some refining or you may not find any sources because it's so narrow that what you're asking for is part of a larger uh, research project and nobody has actually done a lot of research on very narrow topics. So I'm going to keep that general topic and go and click the search icon it takes us to the results list. For that broad uh, search term, I have 638,688 results. It shows you how these are broken down, results for magazines, uh, and you have more results for magazines than is indicated in the academic journals, but you can go through and see exactly how many results you have there from each area. Uh, and some of the top results may be reflected in the list below. These are thought to be some of the more relevant results. Uh, so you can, I want to get a maybe uh, academic journal uh, source and computer crimes is something that's a big industry these days. So I click on that link to go to the original source page. There's an outline of what the what is contained within this this article, introduction, different sections. It talks about different types of computer crimes. So you have a full text article right there. The tools at the top. Are, are your citation tools or any articles in any of these databases it will provide all the elements of information needed to properly cite and in this case it is defaulted to MLA 8 but you also can get the citation for APA 7th edition and Chicago 17th edition and what you would do is just copy the citation because one of the first things you're going to do as a researcher is start to build your, your a works cited page or your bibliography. So once you copy that citation, it may be useful to you. You want to go down to the bottom. In my case, I've already opened a Word document and I've list, uh, entitled that Word document works, works Cited, but some people say Bibliographic Page. I have one source that I looked up earlier. Now I'm going to just put this uh, <clears throat> citation information as, as a second source uh, and make that number two. You got to distinguish between them, though. You don't want to make it look like paragraphs. Just come pull a bunch of random information together. And I'll go back later and do the proper formatting as far as line space and dents and etc make sure it's it's good once you have that you'll know how to get this information you'll know what database is in how you can re pull this article up because it has a link in actually how you can cite this article so later on at the very least you have to read the full article and make sure that it's going to be something that's useful go down to the bottom of this toolbar and go back into that database uh, and I'm going to close this citation tool.
and back to the results list so you can browse and find any other results that you may want and whenever you see the find fill window here you can change or modify or do whatever you, you feel you want to do just kind of like playing with google you can put any search term or phrase in there to see what your results are going to be these are the filters that are on this particular database you can use any of those filters to further your search. Uh, you always want to have full text marked. There's other options uh, as filters that you can use here. This is going to conclude my brief overview of the Gale Academic One file and the Gale data, General Database. If you need any assistance, you know how to contact me. Go to the website, look at contact us on the on the library page. It'll list all library staff. My name is Reese Bailey. You can give me a call. Have a great day. I look forward to working with you.